Hey, good afternoon, church family. It's good to see you today. Happy Wednesday. It's hard to believe it's already Wednesday, but uh, let's pray together as we come to our weekday family devotional that God would bless it and use it for His glory. Father, we thank you for the day you've given to us. And Lord, our prayer is that you bless the Word of God today. Uh, Lord, that you would encourage our hearts and help us, Lord, strengthen us with the truth of the Word of God and help us to live victoriously in Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray that you'd send revival and help us to see you clearly uh, in every moment of our lives. And so, God, we pray for your strength and your help. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad that you're here. Let's take our Bibles and turn together uh, to the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter number one. Uh, all of the patriarchs have, have, are, are now gone. And the Bible says in verse eight of Exodus one, now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which uh, knew not Joseph. And he looked out and he saw that the people of Israel were, were mighty in, in number. And he was fearful. Uh, he was fearful that during the war they would join alliance uh, with, with, with their enemy and turn on them. And uh, so they, he, uh, Pharaoh and uh, the, the people of, of Egypt, they decided they were going to contrive this scheme and uh, they were going to set taskmasters over the people. And, and really, the Bible describes, it, uh, describes the work of the Egyptians against Israel, uh, that, uh, they, saying they made Israel to serve uh, with rigor and uh, hard work. But I want you to notice what the Bible says in verse 12. Uh, in Exodus chapter 1 and verse 12, the Bible says, But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? And may I say that that is often what God does in our lives. The more we're afflicted, the more we multiply and grow. And, uh, of course, we see that spiritually. You know, the church always grows during times of persecution. However, let's, let's apply that to our, to our personal lives today. Uh, the, the more you, for lack of a better word, suffer, uh, the more persecution you face, the more difficulty uh, that you deal with, the better you become. You grow. Uh, we grow in our Christ-likeness. Uh, the Bible says the, tr- the trial of our faith worketh patience. And, of course, uh, everything that comes our way, God intends for good. But even in the early passages of Scripture, in the early pages of Scripture, we find the principle of God's work unfolding in our lives, and it unfolds uh, through difficulty. And the Bible says in verse 12, And they were grieved because of Israel. And uh, they, were, they were very upset. And, uh, but it doesn't... But as we, as we consider our lives, Christians, I want to encourage you today just to simply look to God by faith and trust in Him and, and ask the Lord how uh, He can use uh, the difficulty in your life and to help you grow and become more of what the Lord intends for us to be. And not to be ultra repetitive uh, or redundant here, but in Romans chapter number 8, we find this principle and uh, again, it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. Of course, the, the children of Israel, they would not have chosen uh, to be mistreated. Uh, they would not have chosen to have taskmasters placed over them and caused to serve with, with great rigor. Uh, that, that's nothing anyone would, would choose for themselves. But in the sinfulness of man... The sovereignty of God was on full display. And God took the sinfulness of man, directed toward the children of Israel, and used it for His glory. The Bible says in verse 29 of Romans 8, For whom He did foreknow, He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. The the best way for you and me to grow is in our Christ-likeness. And hardships, when they happen, uh, they will either drive you away from the Lord or drive you toward the Lord. Don't let hardship push you away from Christ, but rather seek the Lord and allow God's work to unfold in your life. 
that might become more perfected in your faith and uh, that you would increase in your knowledge of God. The Bible says back in, in Exodus chapter 1 and verse 12, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. I want to encourage you to grow today, Christian, and seek the Lord, trust God, and uh, find your strength in Him. Father, we thank you for the Word of God today, and Lord, our prayers for your blessing and for your help. God, we pray that you would uh, help us to see you at work in every in every facet of life, in every circumstance, Lord, whether joyful or, or unpleasant, we pray, God, that you'd help us to see your grace and that we would allow you to help us grow and multiply in our Christian life. Lord, give us strength this day. And again, Father, we ask for revival. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Christians, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. Please know we love you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow at noon. If there's anything the church or I can do to help you, to be a blessing for you, don't forget you can call us at 614-382-0585 or email us directly at info at pickeringtonbaptisttemple.org. May God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.